in this kind of weather. Yeah, it's the kind of weather we're going to be dealing with for the next couple of days. Let's bring in meteorologist Paul Horton and we Hi, ladies. Hello. Nice Hi, to Paul. see you both, actually. Yeah, good to work with it. We're all in different spots, but we're all together tonight. This Absolutely. is great. Absolutely. <laughs> Alone together. Yes. I love it. This I is really it. social distancing. Yeah, extreme. <laughs> Pretty darn funny. Yeah, uh, you know, you mentioned the winds and the dry conditions out there. Let's take a look at the uh, current wind conditions outside. You can see uh, out there wind speeds in uh, the Phoenix area. Yeah, we had a bit of a breeze this afternoon. Uh, wind speeds now out of the southwest at about eight miles per hour. You can see a little stronger winds up near Prescott as you travel along uh, I-17. But uh, the temps, that's the big story for firefighters. Uh, it's hot. It's really dry out there. And it's going to get even warmer tomorrow. Yikes. Yeah, look at this. 96 in Phoenix. We're sitting in the lower 90s in Apache Junction. Uh, 80s up in Cave Creek, 86 degrees. It's good news with the fire up there. And uh, 92 in Peoria. I want to show you the official high today. We got up to 107. And that's 7 degrees above average and very close to a record of 110. But uh, the low this morning, that's pretty incredible. We got down to 88 degrees, the uh, warmest uh low a high low temperature we've ever experienced on this date so you can see with the satellite and radar some cloud cover some showers uh up around uh, flagstaff and uh, sholo and uh, some showers south of us around casa grande but pretty quiet conditions here we've got that ridge of high pressure that's really going to park itself over the top of the desert southwest area and heat things up uh, here across the uh, state of arizona we're watching a low oh this low is going to bring some changes yeah, it's going to cool things down later on this uh, week into the weekend and bring with it a chance, maybe an isolated thunderstorm or two in the forecast on Friday. And then, boy, the temperature drops with that nice little dip in the jet stream. 80 degrees for a low, 48 in Flagstaff, 66 for a low in Payson. We're down to 57 out in Sholo. Nice. Uh, Seven-day planner, 110. Both Wednesday, Thursday, heat warnings issued. Come to an end in the evening hours on Thursday. And then Friday, it's still going to be hot. One away. Chance for a few uh, isolated thunderstorms in the forecast. But this weekend, oh, get outside and enjoy it. Temperatures will be below average. In fact, we'll hit the highs of the 90s, both Saturday, Sunday. And we'll stay that way through the week, through the weekend and into the work week as well. With overnight lows in the lower 70s. Not bad. Back to you. Oh, not bad at all. Paul, thank you so much. And good to